Try, Adapt, Learn. In this video, we will try to change the spindle assembly in a Cub Cadet XT1 lawnmower with a 46 inch deck. If you haven't already subscribed to our channel, please subscribe now. For safety, the deck drive belt was disconnected from the engine pulley. While loosening the fastener at the bottom of the spindle, the blade was held by a piece of wood. With the fastener removed, the blade is set free to also be removed. At the top of the deck, the fasteners were removed from the belt cover. The belt was then removed from the top of the spindle. At the bottom of the deck, four fasteners that mount the spindle to the deck were removed. The deck was then set to the lowest position. The lowest deck position allowed the damaged spindle assembly to be removed. With the blades removed, we can compare the old parts with the new parts. As seen, the old blade is damaged at the star shape mounting point. Aside from the damage mentioned, the old blades had normal wear with a few nicks at the cutting edge. The spindle shaft on the old spindle is also damaged at the star shape mounting point. This was caused by an impact with a root. Although not recorded, the older spindle shaft had movement up and down in the spindle housing. The new bolt was the same thread size as the old bolt with a longer thread length and a larger head size. The lowest deck position allowed the new spindle assembly to be positioned into place. The deck was then set to the highest position. The spindle assembly bolts were then started by hand. A socket was then used to further tighten the bolts. The spindle assembly bolts were then finished with a torque wrench. Without proper documentation, a reference chart was used to select a torque that would be consistent for all four fasteners. The thread size for these bolts are 516-24 with torque ranging anywhere from 12 to 30 foot-pounds depending on the hardware grade. The main concerns are to use a torque wrench for consistency but not to over torque the bolts. The proper installation of the new blade on the new spindle started with hand tightening the fastener. Once the fastener is close to the star mounting point on a spindle, ensure that the blade is aligned properly while tightening the blade by hand. With the hand tightening stopped, a socket with a wood block was used to tighten further. The fastener is then torqued to specification using a torque wrench to finish the attachment of the blade. The deck drive belt was then attached to the pulley on the spindle assembly. The belt cover was then positioned into place and the fasteners hand tightened. A socket was then used to further tighten the fasteners on the belt cover. The deck drive belt was then reattached to the engine pulley, completing the reinstallation of the new spindle assembly. As I make new videos, I want to share them with you, so subscribe now. Also, comment, like, and check out some of the other content on our channel.